is Katie. Welcome to my Flaster page, Red's Stitchery. And here I am with my weekly stitcher updates. And I'd like to start this video by saying thank you so much for all of you who subscribed, comment, uh, liked my previous video. I don't know what happened over there, but I guess YouTube put my video in recommendations, which is absolutely amazing. And I'm so happy to find so many other stitcher related people. It's so nice to have a little community and yeah i just want to say thank you so much for all of your positive attention to my page starting plus tube was um i don't want to say scary but it's definitely getting out of my comfort zone but now it's exciting because i have support of so many people so thank you this week wasn't as crazy busy as the previous one but i do like to give you weekly updates because Again, I stitch so much <laughs> that even like the new week starts and I already forgot what I stitched last week because my projects are rotating, most all of them. I have completely different ideas. I tried uh, new things and my dogs heard something exciting in the name. <laughs> okay. Anyway, each week I stitch mostly something new i love rotating the projects however you will see some projects from the previous week because um, like a lovely victorian home by dimensions it is my project of the year that one i do stitch weekly um and i think there will be a couple more but the rest it's brand new whips that i have not shown you yet and i know lots of you asked me to show my old whips so let me know in the comments What's more intriguing, uh, if I will make a video with all my whips or if I will not make this video, but every week something different will be rotated. So should I show it to you or should I not? Because I feel like if I will show you all my whips, it is interesting to see then before, right? And the after. And if I will not show you my whips, then every week, Nobody, including myself, knows what to expect. Like, I don't know what I'm deciding to stitch this week. I do have some kind of plan, but I'm not like really strictly following it. So let me know and please in the comments, do you want to see it or keep it hidden and kind of a secret and then show you little by little every week. Um, also in this video, you will see some kind of clips that I try to film during the week, like um, the before uh, of what project I'm showing to you or if something interesting happened. I think incorporating in the video those kind of uh, right there on the spot videos, it's a good idea to, to give you something different to see. Um, but yeah, let's start and see what I stitched this week. Thank you so much for watching and again thank you so much for all of your support and as in my previous video i'm going to start with the lovely victorian home by dimensions this is a simple collection not a gold collection uh, this is the main project of this year i'm stitching it every single week and weekly i do set myself a goal of thousand stitches um so half stitching back stitching cross stitching all of it including um i'm moving this process 15 percent per month so somewhere at the july i should finish it i do have another project that in my head are a pair for this one uh, which i am going to show you just in a second maybe in a minute <laughs> and um i see them together i want to frame them together in the similar frames in a similar style that's why I'm actively stitching this one. But since last week, I'm trying to enter the last week footage over here. So since the last week, what progress we have? We have some back stitching, more house growing, um, the ship in the back, background got some back stitching, this little aisle part also got stitched. It's growing and roof also yeah this brown part over here got stitched so next week I need to do also a thousand stitches and I'm definitely going to move my hoops I think it's time to move it over here and equally grow it 
So, um, there's the progress. So somebody, thank you so much for your comment, asked me in my previous video, how do I know how many exact percentage I stitch? So as for right now, it's exactly 48%. I use Cross Stitch Saga app. Um, it does cost around $11. The patterns you have to either make yourself, order for somebody to make it for you, or can you find them online. If you find them online, there's and it's for free, there's no guarantee that um, they don't have any mistakes. This one I found easily online. There's varieties of the websites, but this is how this project is going to look like at the end. So as you can see, I am, I made this part right here so far. Um, what I love about it, this is how it's gonna look like now. So everything I stitch, I don't see it anymore. I'm going to move to this uh, part next. And for example, I'm going to start with this symbol over here. I'm going to click on it and it's going to highlight it for me. So everywhere this color uses, it's going to highlight for me. So that's the number of the color. This is the amount of stitches I have left to do with that. The number four on top, it's how many things of floss I need to use. And I am obsessed with this. It helps so much. Same over here. It shows you the blends, everything. It shows you, for example, it comes on Aida, 14th count. What if I would like to switch my fabric? What kind of size is gonna be next? So depending on the fabric, it's gonna show you how big your uh, product is going to be. What else I like about it? Some, um, you can change the background color. So if it's some kind of online pattern, you can play with what kind of color on the background you like to use to see to change if you'd like to change the fabric. And there's varieties of what else this app has. I'm just showing you a little bit. How do you know, how, how do I know if I stitch a thousand stitches? I have a goal. There is a goal of thousand stitches and it literally counts for me how many stitches I've done. And then uh, there's a progress right here so I can see how many stitches I've done for a day, particular day, and so on and so on. And um, that's how I know how much percentage I've done because it shows me over here too. It shows me how many cross stitches I have left, how many stitches I have left, back stitching knots, everything. This app is so convenient, easy to use. And then for example, I'm gonna choose this color over here. We're gonna highlight only this one. It's already counts for you how many stitches you need to do. So you don't need to count like, 10, 20, how many here? It already tells you the number of how many stitches you need to do, either vertically or horizontally. This app is the best thing ever. <laughs> Highly recommend it. But this is how it's gonna look like. Almost so close to 50% done. Definitely next week we're going to hit that mark. Very, very excited about it. This right here is another project by Dimensions and that's the one I see as a pair to this one. This one I have 80% done and I stopped stitching it for right now because when I move this project to this same uh, percentage, I'm actively going to take only this two in a rotation and then I'm very, very excited to go to the framer. But this is what it is. It's the kitty in the garden. I'm imagining it's the same house, but this is just the back door to the garden. And um, yeah, also very excited to put this one in the frame. This is my very first dimension projects ever. It's not perfect. Uh, when I, it's gonna be time to show you this process, I will. I'm not quite happy with my stitching, but dimensions, it's definitely not for the beginners. <laughs> That's what I have learned, but um, that's the pair I see for this one right here. I see them as a couple. I see them in the familiar, like the same oval vintage vibe. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to try to finish them at the same time and frame them and the something similar. Okay, but let's move on because we have quite a bit <laughs> else to show you. Uh, magic needle. Robins, St. Robins. Um, 
As a reminder, I am stitching it on a Belfast, so it's 30 second count. I am still not a fan of the Belfast. I don't think it's easy fabric to work with, but if you look from far, it's not that bad. Um, the reason why I'm not happy about it, I think my stitches don't look as nice as they can be. I'm gonna show you the floss, how it came in the kit. I probably should have a better organization, but honestly, this is working for me. Very pleasant, nice colors. It's very easy stitching. And even for this one, I found a file, a saga, cross stitch saga. So it helps a lot. If I would not have a cross stitch saga, they give you a very easy to read pattern. I mean, that's open somewhere like right here. It's big, it's made of matte paper. I hate glossy paper, this is perfect. Uh, very, very easy to read. I know how to read from the paper. If I have to, I will. It does not stress me out. Um, I'm comfortable with papers in most cases. Um, there's a key over here. Um, if you're new here, this is my lazy method of parking threads, so ignore that. Uh, from last week, we got this part over here. And right now I am on 19.5% which is I'm not in a hurry on this project at all, but it's such a pleasant stitch. You just pick the color and you go with it. And it's basically stitching itself. It's very pleasant, very easy. Uh, Belfast maybe makes it just a little bit difficult. I mean, for me, it is my first project on Belfast, but as for right now, that's what I have. So that's where I started. This part, it's this right here. And then this one. I decided that the main characters, the Robins, I'm going to stitch very, very last. I am going to move over here on the bottom. I wanna stitch the flowers and then, and then stitch the main characters. But this, is my progress so far and let's move on to the next one amazing brand caterpillar cross stitch and i think if you're a beginner if you want something simple if you want something very colorful very enjoyable you need your relaxed stitching this is a great company uh, so they did send this to me uh, as a present just to participate in their style stitch alone and this is Enchanted Realms. And I, they also gifted me this Needle Miner. So if you would like this beautiful dragon, you can find them on a very official website. They have so many cute Needle Miners. I have another one right here. They gifted me this one for their previous sale, which was in the winter of last year. Um, isn't this most perfect, most adorable Hakogo cup? This is my favorite needle miner. I think it's it, the quality, how strong it is. It's absolutely adorable. but I do think this dragon is also very, very cute. But um, there they are, there's my fairies. That was the third part of the current sale. Um, we get one part in once a month, usually it's in the 20th of the month. Uh, next one, I'm excited, I don't know. I don't know what else is gonna be. We got mermaids, dragons, fairies, what kind of other, uh, magical creatures we can get i don't know <laughs> maybe gnomes pegasus i don't know i don't know but it's very very fun stitch i already see what i can possibly add to this project but i want to wait till it's completely done 
and then definitely definitely want to add some krennic metallics um, some beading it's going to be fun so the third part of the current sal enchanted realms is finished so i'm not going to work on this project till till the next part comes out which means it gives me more time for my robins because these two projects are rotate let's see what else i have in this bag what i have it's my plastic project it's harry potter flags um, so <laughs> i was so confident i'm going to finish this one today and as you can see it's not finished and the reasoning for that so this is my work project this three so this one the fairies and then the robins i stitch them at work i work at the front desk and i have opportunity um, to do so <laughs> when i have time i realized i did not grab one floss that i'm missing it's like a dark blue over here and i have not checked if i have it in stock i hope i have it in my stash and i just forgot to pack it because if i don't um i am doing a no shopping whatsoever at all no low buy completely no shopping cross stitch related for three months challenge with my friend it means if i don't have it i cannot buy it till june 3rd because we're doing three months we started in the march 3rd so june 3rd will be exactly three months but if i had it i would finish it but anyway there is three out of 12 nine more to go i already started another one over here can you guess what kind of what kind of item it is if you're a harry potter fan can you guess what kind of item it is right now it looks like just the yellow mesh <laughs> but believe me there is something hiding over there i also have a couple stitches started for the next one basically what i do i concentrate on one flag but if i have any floss left and i can see that i can start a new one or use it on somewhere else i use it so that's why slowly other ones start growing but after I finish filming this video, I'm going to run and see if I have this floss in my stash. If not, well, this flag is not going to be officially finished till June then. <laughs> Everybody knew I want to finish all 12 by October because in my head, October, it's the month of Harry Potter. I rewatch it nonstop and I really, really would like to decorate my craft room with these flags. So plans for the next week, if I have a floss, finish this one, and I hope I have all the floss for this one. So I hope I will be able to finish another flag. If I can do one flag per week, it's going to be amazing. But uh, as soon as I done them, it's, it's better than wait till October, September and stitch them like crazy nonstop. Right now I have time for them. So there we go. almost a finish but not really i'm participating in kind of sort of sal which is all the projects that are hard to stitch not getting any attention well, lots of girls participate in one group and on the, each month on the fifth of the month we have to send our progress even though it's just the one thread it's still a progress and it counts this is the biggest project that I have in my rotation right now. I believe there is around 50,000 stitches. It's corner to corner. The reason why it goes so difficult for me and I don't know why I keep doing it to myself, why I keep buying more projects with wool. This project is using wool acrylic and if it would stitch in one thread, it would be easy, but it's stitching in two threads and blends. <sighs> when I just start cross stitching, which is officially, actively, I started somewhere in the middle school, I had no problems with wool. I was fine with that, but lately, I don't know why, it's very difficult for me to concentrate. I don't like the, how it goes in my thing. I don't know, I just... <laughs> But I started it, so I have to keep finishing it. I think somewhere 50% done. Um, I guess I can take this off. I found it in a local thrift store. It's like a hoop 
with a holder. I usually put it on a table and stitch it on a table. Very comfortable, but I need to move it anyway so I can take it off. But here we go. Somewhere 20%, almost quarter done. I mean, I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. It feels like a carpet. <laughs> but it takes me a long time to sit down, to concentrate, to get my groove, to start stitching. Um, I have not shown you this project yet, so uh, I don't think it's matter how many was stitched previously, but I stitched somewhere over here. So I take this project only like once a month, so you're going to see it once a month in my progress videos. Uh, but I stitched it last week, and that's what I got. And let's count on my YouTube channel. This is as before, and everything you're gonna see is gonna be after. I don't think I'm going to able to finish it this year. I'm hoping if I can stitch 50%, I'm gonna be super happy about it. Uh, but same, I'm trying to move on over here, do all the fun part, right? And then all I have to do afterwards is just never ending sky stitching. <laughs> Look at that. So, and it's all, I think, full stitch, half stitch, blends, one thing. There's a lot of work. I did start some sky over here. Lots of colors, lots of blendings, but anyway, there's another project that I worked this week on. Project that I'm making my life complicated with, but I cannot stop, but this is a little bit easier. This is Empa Studio Peonies. I lost the preview, so I'm going to enter it. Oh, actually, no. I am going to show it to you on my Saga app. There we go, there we go, there we go. So it's gonna look like I am on 30% right now. The reason why it's a little bit complicated for me to stitch on because it's stitched on a black canvas. And I know I've got lots of recommendations how the best to use it to put a plant, uh, like something light up underneath, put a white paper underneath. Uh, when you're stitching it on a black canvas. The best solution so far I found is to cross stitch it outside on a beautiful weather, for example, like today, and it just goes. Um, so, I was 25% done. I am going to enter a little uh, vlog that I filmed how it was before. Today I decided to work on this web right here. I started it last summer, so it's almost been a year, and it was my first experience in stitching on a black canvas, and I absolutely hate it. I don't know why I keep buying more projects on a black canvas, uh, don't know why, keep stitching it, <laughs> but results are worth it. And right now, it's a beautiful sunny day, plus my newest purchase, I got this magnifying glass that also is a light and this is helping me so so much so here is my before I'm not putting any goals I'm not setting any nothing even if I will stitch just one thread I will be super super happy but as you can see like right here very noticeable very not straight stitches some over here, yeah, black canvas, it's definitely not for everybody, practice needs to be <laughs> done, and right now it's a beautiful weather outside, I actually think maybe tomorrow if I will want to continue on this one, or maybe next week, whatever, I decide to continue to work on this one, I will go outside, today is a little bit still windy, but when it's going to be nice, warm weather without the wind, I might go outside and stitch it outside, because I notice with the black canvas, the natural outside light is the best. Anyhow, here is my before. And this is how it's after. Lots of fun pinks. And again, 
it kind of drives me insane to stitch it not outside because the stitches doesn't look even. Like you can see definitely where I was stitching inside, like this part right here. But let's not concentrate on it, right? <laughs> um, I stitched uh, till the top. This is the top stitches. This is the bottom stitches. I think this week I'm going to try to stitch this part over here. So everything right here. And then move my hoop. Try to finish all the pinks and then just concentrate on all those cream colors over here. My stitcher friend finished it like in a month and I started it with her last summer. And I stitched a couple days and I'm like, I cannot do it anymore. It was driving me absolutely insane to stitch on a black canvas. But guess what? I got myself more black canvas <laughs> projects, but I also got myself a light up magnifying glass, which helps a lot when you don't have a natural light to stitch on. But there we go. That's another project I work on. And last but not least, This is Gold Collection Dimensions Holiday Village. When I saw it online for the first time, this sky, it was immediate, yes, I want it, I need it, I want to stitch it. And then somebody on Etsy was selling their stash and I got this one for like $15. So I thought, great deal. So as for right now, I am a seasonal stitcher. I put all my winter projects away however this one is a gold collection gold collection of dimensions it's i don't want to say difficult but it does uh, ask you for a lot of attention a lot of concentration lots of floss changing um like for example this right here this dark dark blue it's stitching in five and six strings of floss so there's a lot of pulling <laughs> It's, it can be a little bit complicated. So what I've decided to do since I put it away, I realize I am not going to able to finish it this year. There is no way. I mean, obviously, if I'm gonna stitch only this project, but that's not gonna happen. As you can see, I'm a multiple project stitcher. I have to rotate my projects as much as possible. Um, and I notice it's works better for me if I would just concentrate on one, finish it and start another one. It helps a lot. As for right now, I'm only 14% done. And I know that, again, I'm not going to be able to finish it this year. This is what it's gonna look like uh, as a finished. And um, what I've decided to do, I've chose a random date, seven, so each month on the 7th, I'm taking this project and working on it. Uh, I'm gonna also enter the preview, the vlog I filmed, how it looked before it took it on the 7th of this month. Till the season comes, so I think like October, November, uh, when this project is going to be returned to the regular rotation, I'm decided I'm just gonna take it on the seventh and I have no goal. I, this one, I just, I don't know why it's here, <laughs> but I don't have any goals. I didn't put any particular number of stitches that I have to do. Even if it's a one floss, one thread on the seventh, I'm very, very happy with it. I rather have a small progress than a big one. However, I think I'm going to do very popular uh, Christmas in July stitching thing when in July I'm gonna pick up if not all but some of my Christmas winter related projects because I feel like winter season gets the least uh, stitching on because <laughs> in December I'm usually stitching everything that I want to finish in that year January I'm stitching a little bit and then in February I already feel like it's a spring so I'm grabbing spring uh, projects you know so definitely need more attention on my winter projects. This is one of them. And until the season comes, I'm just gonna grab it on the seventh of each month. <laughs> my kid's saying hi. Hello. 
Well, anyway, so far I love how it looks. Um, as you can see right here, it's the end of the project. I'm just gonna keep stitching it till I hit the corner. I wanna leave the sky for the very last because it's the most yummiest part. I'm very excited to stitch the bridge, um, the tree. The kit came with like um, little sparkle elements. So when it's going to be finished, it's definitely gonna get framed because there are a lot of work, but also it's so beautiful and it's so worth it. I know it looks very, very messy, but for this project, that's like the only way I can park my flaws. Otherwise, it's just gonna be even bigger mess. <laughs> and I lied to you, there was not a last project I was stitching this week. He only wants to say hi. Say hello. <laughs> um, I did a little bit of stitching. I was hoping I was able to finish the beading this week, but I did not. I did uh, this part of the here, the stars on the trees, the toppers on the trees over here also, the toys, basically all the silver beading that this project needs, I've done. All I have left, it's white. This is Lugana, 32nd count, stormy, stormy something. <laughs> it's not evenly colored fabric, I love it. This is from Amazon and I'm not gonna give you a link or recommend it because it's a piece of garbage, but it's all I have right now for the beading. If you have any recommendations for framing in a stand for the frame, please leave me in the comments. I'm desperately needed one because I have so many projects that require frame but i cannot start them because this is literally a piece of garbage uh, <laughs> i'm very very unhappy with that but it's my fault i did not did a good research before i got it and the price was so low and it's yeah well anyway um as you can see i was able to work with it it's just not as comfortable as i as i mentioned so here's the beads i used uh, because I've chosen 32 count, uh, I'm stitching with the petite mill heel beads. So all the silver stitching I've done with this one, and this is 42.010. The white ones done with the white one, which is 40.479. And then it was not a part of the chart, but I just decided to do it. I don't know why. I guess I wanted to play with more beads. And I also was worried that the whites that I have would not be enough. I'm using this one, which is 4161. 40, this is like see-through opal. And I used that one um, on this elements over here that you cannot see over here and where the deer this line over here i was worried i'm not gonna have enough white so i decided those two i can use that opal one everything that i have to stitch it's lots of lots of bead ones so i started over here a little on ornament so it's gonna continue all the way down the line and then you i started over here the white one and they're gonna go all the way, all the way. So there's still a lot of beading needs to be done, but I'm enjoying it. And I forgot completely yesterday when I was stitching it, I'm like, oh, oh no, <laughs> the deer leg over here also needs to be finished. <laughs> it's not finished. I'm excited to put in a frame. I think it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous during the winter time as a house decoration. And I'm very, very proud of this one because it took a lot of patience and a lot of time. Stitching all of it with the white, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm good for a while. <laughs> there was a lot of white mm, floss used, <laughs> a lot, a lot of patience. But as for right now, I really, really enjoy how it's going to look like. Okay, so right now, and in this moment, I don't know either if I have that one missing color for my um, Harry Potter flag, and I'm missing the color 3846. So 
I keep my floss uh, in the bobbins and I found this organizer organizers in TJ Maxx. It was something around $30. I did found them on Amazon also. And if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, the link is in my bio. Uh, since I'm a new floss tuber, YouTube would not let me to put any links as for right now, I think, because I want the proof that I'm a real person. So um, I cannot give you the link on Amazon. Um, in the comments over here, but if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you will find it over there. However, it's very, very pricey, particularly that one. But what you can do if you're interested in something like that, you can um, see what kind of size it is and uh, search it maybe some, something similar, uh, less pricey. There's a two sizes of these organizers and I both found on TJ Maxx. Um, let me go get you the other one. This is the big one and this one I purchased very very first so over here I keep them by numbers from like 100, 200, 300 and so on and these are haven't been bobbin yet this is just my collection but uh, this one the small one I do use for the bobbin I also put them by numbers um, DMC have a very interesting numbering, isn't it? Like some of them will have like almost full spectrum from like very first number to the very last number in that 100 range. And then some of them like I think 400 or hundreds, they barely have any colors. I don't know what's the logic behind it, but that's how it works. So again, what color I'm missing? I keep forgetting what color I'm missing. Three, eight something. Three, eight, four, six. So uh, three eights will be right here. The moment of truth. Three, eight, no. So nothing on the bobbin. So let's go check out if anything as it is. I hope it is because if it's not, I mean, I cannot shop for another two months. It's gonna be very bothering me that I have a project that's not finished. I mean, how ridiculous it will be if I don't have that color because I was pretty sure I have a full spectrum of DMC floss, but we need, again, three, eight, four, six. I feel like it has to be three, eight, four, five, three, eight, four, four. So it's gonna be in that range. Three, eight, four, six, okay. I do have a, oh my God, it was bothering me so much. Three, eight, four, six, it's right here, I found it. Oh, <laughs> it really was bothering me that I will have to wait for two months to buy just one thing of floss. And this good note, I'm a very positive note, I'm going to say goodbyes uh, for this week. Thank you so much for watching, supporting, commenting. So let me know if you do want to see my whip parade or you want to be surprised every week by what I'm going to stitch this week. And um, thank you. Have a great stitchy week. Have a great week in general. I'll see you next week with the stitch updates. I will try to keep posting on Wednesdays. It's just this week was so busy that I'm filming it right now on Thursday and hopefully... Um, Today is going to be also the day when I'm going to post it because as far as now, I'm way behind on a schedule that i seen it. But I guess life happens. Uh, I already, spoiler, for next Stitchy Weeks, because I'm already, you know, stitching. I have a very exciting news. I have some projects like Finish Finish. And I'm so, so excited to show it to you, but I want to keep it for the next week. So I'm going to see next week, hopefully on Wednesday. <laughs> Hopefully nothing crazy like uh, this week going to happen. And yeah, again, thank you. Happy Stitching Week and I'll see you next week.